King Charles is making the front pages this morning after being, of course, discharged from hospital yesterday following treatment for an enlarged prostate. Meanwhile, EastEnders also raising awareness of prostate health. And last night, Alfie Moon was coming to terms with his prostate cancer diagnosis. Well, Shane Ritchie joins me now alongside Dr. Hillary. Shane, I watched that last night and it was so blinking sad. Thank and actually, you. I think it was really good that you did that scene. I know you really wanted to show that he, he, he went as himself, the poor soul, yeah. he can't help it. Yeah, I mean, this was a storyline that I, I, I wasn't expecting to do. I was brought up to the <clears throat> office by our boss, Chris Clenshaw, who was doing a fantastic job, you know, with, with the big Christmas storyline they sure. did. So this was going to run alongside it. And um, funny enough, the week he brought me up, I go for a, a men's health check. I'm sure the doctor here will recommend it for all men. And so once a year, I go for a men's health check and everything was fine. And two days later, I got a phone call when I go up and see uh, Chris, our boss. And we sat down and I'm thinking he's going to talk about Cat and Alfie or future storyline. And he said, how do you feel about um, doing a storyline where Alfie and prostate cancer? And I was like, oh, I was thinking, oh my God, only two days previous I've been yeah, for a men's yeah. health check. So that was a bit of a shock out of the blue. Um, and then playing that story, and that has been a slow burner. And... And then the more we spoke about it, the more research I did. We got to meet nurses from Macmillan, of course, the, the charity. Um, and we got to meet certain gentlemen that had gone through mm. this particular disease. Mm. So when the story was put to me, I, I had a friend of mine recently who'd just gone through prostate cancer and treatment. And I'm, he's a big keen golfer. Right. And he was telling me that he'd just finished playing golf. He was at the bar of his friends. And uncontrollably just wet himself. Oh, the poor guy. And I remember thinking about this, thinking, OK, this is so important yeah, to tell the story. Yeah. So I remember sitting with Chris and saying, if we're going to play this, can we do a scene where Alfie, wherever it happens, mm -hmm. uh, wets himself? Thinking it may or may not happen, and then right. getting the script and working with Chris and working with the charities, uh, Prostate Cancer UK, uh, they put it in the script, and I remember it was leading up to doing this scene. And I was so nervous about wanting to get it right mm -hmm. and to get the tone right. Yep. Uh, so and I think um, we're doing the story justice. I like to think we. No, are. you are, and it's it's a wonderful thing, isn't it, Hilary? And it's really that's important. what makes it so real. Because sadly, that's what happens Absolutely. with this. You know, look, it's, it's, the, it's the commonest cancer of all in in men. Mm -hmm. Fifty-two thousand cases every year, uh, twelve thousand deaths, um, too many. one hundred and forty every too day. Many. So this is a really important storyline. Mm. I'm so pleased yeah, you're doing it. What you. with King Charles uh, speaking out as well. Uh, we've already noticed an increase in number of visits to GPs, people coming yes. forward, and we're slowly getting rid of that stigma well, about, see, that, about that's prostate the word. cancer. Yeah. That's why what you did last night and that storyline was so important, yeah. Yeah. because you know what it's like when something like that happens. People yeah. laugh at you. Yeah. Or they go, oh, and it's all embarrassed, and it's all, oh, my God, and all of that, and you've actually shown that, that hey, so what? This is what happens. This is the reality of yeah. the situation. And also the way the story starts to play out, and certainly in tonight's episode where Alfie's kind of kept it to himself, and I think men in general are very much like that, especially Absolutely. when it comes to something like prostate, because we know what yeah. part of the body it affects and we know yeah. what sort of examination you may or may not need, and it can affect your sex life. And Alfie uh, talks about that tonight and how yeah, he talks good. about feeling less of a man. And then uh, Kelly Bright, who wonderfully plays Linda, says, you know, you know, a man is not just justified by his sex life or, you know... And, and, and the fact that we're shining a light on this particular cancer yeah. in men, I think, is yeah. really important. It's really important. And it's a bit like the parallel that we have with breast cancer and, and women yeah. having mastectomies. They're still the woman that they've always been. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they need that treatment. And the same with prostate uh, uh, cancer treatment. Yes, it might be... It might involve uh, surgery, it might involve radiotherapy or chemotherapy, hormone treatment, but you're no less of a man. You're having treatment for a cancer. Um, and, yes, you can get temporary incontinence. You can get... Um, uh, 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 ED problems, uh, erectile dysfunction. Usually it's temporary. Usually there's a way around yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. So it's all dealable with. You, mm -hmm. you know, counselling is part of the treatment these days. The more men start to open up about it and talk about it, as yeah. you will be in the show tonight, well, yeah. exactly. uh, the better. That's what's good. I mean, obviously with King Charles, it's an enlarged prostate that he's it's, got. It's a benign one. Yeah. And it's benign. So, but at the same time, it's still saying to people, you know, saying to men, the king got checked out, you know, and watching something. I mean, something, a storyline like this on EastEnders does so much more because we identify with your character. As you said, it's been a slow burn. It's not come yeah. out of nowhere. No. And how he's had to deal with it. Yeah, and the story, um, 
will start to unfold more where you see the treatment and how mm. it affects Alfie. Well, that's good. And <clears throat> certainly, to, well, once again, half on about tonight's episode, where Alfie opens up <coughs> and talks about it. And I, and I think that's really important that men in general standing around the pubs in on golf courses yeah. or whatever you're doing that we talk openly mm. about it do you think mm. it's getting better i yeah, mean this will definitely help but i do i mean it's my dad would never have talked about that no that would have been all jokey and you know but but i think your generation and generations yeah. before you your son you know they, they will talk about yeah it. and i talk about it with my boys now um i've got you know two older boys and for them, it's becoming the norm to talk about mm. stuff Good. like this. And yeah. I think the more no when we normalise it, um, then it's easier to talk about it in pubs. And no. I think Alfie, yeah. the character, and playing that storyline out is going some way to helping. And that's really down to our exec producer at Enders. But you know what? That will... You'll probably never know how many lives you've saved, potentially. No. You'll no. probably never know that, but it definitely will happen. And 40 years of EastEnders next year. Yeah, it's going to be we, big uh, celebrations. Uh, it is. There's a lot Gosh, of buzz now. I can't believe work. that. That's 40 crazy. Years. Wow. <laughs> I know. I've been there just, what, nearly 22 years. Um, so there's a lot of buzz about what may or may not Ooh. happen story wise. So everyone's really excited. And I'll about bet. It. And you love it. You I do. It. I've not been there born. for a while. You were born to be here. <laughs> Come on. It's great being part of an ensemble. That's what I love. Yeah. You know, there's about... It's a team, right? There's a, there's a, a good team. team. And, you know, the people behind the scenes that, you know, work on some of these wonderful storylines just are incredible. And they're the unsung heroes, really, of EastEnders. No, it's brilliant. Thank you both so much. Thanks, buddy, for oh, being here. Yeah. EastEnders, nice of course, you. and it's Great going to be a good night. one tonight, actually. It's, it's very moving tonight, yeah. 7.30, of course, on BBC One.